Hi, it's teacher Melissa, and today I have a tip for those of you who teach level five. We often get this question period slide that pops up, and I'm just going to tell you what I do. This is not uh, official policy or anything like that. I'm just going to tell you what works in my classes. I skip that top half. They never have questions about it. You know, it's just too awkward. Yes, I really want to build conversation skills in my level five students. That's why there's so many uh, question, uh, extension question slides and all kinds of conversation. But I, I just don't like that top slide. Do you have any questions? They always say no. So I just, I skip it. Now how I do that is I circle something below. It will say, do you want to let, do you want to ask one of the characters a question or something? It'll say something like about one of the characters. So I always jump right to that. I'll say, oh, oh, good. That was a good story. Now let's ask, in this one, I think it's Tina. Let's ask Tina a question. Hmm. What can we ask Tina? Okay. Ready? Ready? <clears throat> I grab my microphone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Tina. Henry wants to ask you a question. Okay, Henry, ask Tina. They get it. I, I don't know why, but I just make a big deal. And then they usually ask the character some kind of question. Um, so this Tina is the one where she was looking through the peephole and the guy was knocking on the door. Let me use your phone. And, and so this student said, Tina, why did you not just ignore him? Tina, why didn't you pretend you weren't there? So they will, you know, they'll ask some kind of question, okay? If I just say, is there any question you want to ask Tina? They say no. I make a big deal of, oh, oh, excuse me, Tina, Tina, like I'm a reporter getting Tina's attention. Tina, Tina, excuse me, Henry wants to ask you. Every time. I, a student always, even if it's a lame question they ask, I don't care. They're thinking of something they want to ask the character. And that little microphone trick and excuse me, excuse me, like you're waving down the character for some reason just works. I don't know why, <laughs> but it works great. And then after they ask the question, then I say, hmm, I wonder how Tina would answer that question or whatever the character's name is. Then we can have another sentence or two or a little conversation about how the character would answer that question. Or I might say, why do you ask the character that question? So I'm still getting lots of conversation on this slide, but I really like the bottom part of the slide for this question period time and asking the character a question because I find that my students can extend a little bit more on this portion of it. Okay. Hope this helps you in your level five classes. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video if you want to see new content every week. Have a great day.